curfew starts tonight for downtown Orlando, where protesters have marched over the last several days. Police say most participants were peaceful, but officers say they had to use tear gas after a few people became disruptive. That prompted the new curfew for downtown Orlando. News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us now from Orlando Police Headquarters with the details. Lauren. Well, we've seen officers in and out of the building within the last hour, some dressed in riot gear, some in regular clothing. You can see some are still outside stationed here with their bikes. We are just a few hours away from the curfew that goes into effect tonight. Now, Orlando Police Chief Rolone says the curfew will be in effect from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. And the area impacted is the downtown core. I want to show you a map. Rolone says it'll be from Colonial Drive to the 408 from Summerlin Avenue to Tampa Avenue. Officials say for the rest of the city outside of that parameter on the map, the curfew remains 10 p.m. tonight. Now, within the past hour, we've seen between 50 and 100 officers and deputies on bikes pull into the OPD parking lot. We've seen mounted patrol, no doubt in preparation for the city's fifth day of protests. Take a look at video from last night. Uh, Chief Rolone says it was the largest crowd they've had in the downtown area, adding that it was peaceful, but that as it got closer to curfew and officers were reminding the crowds of the curfew, that's when Rolone says the announcement prompted people to throw things. As an example, last night when our officers were trying to control the crowd, a brick was thrown at one of our officers, and if it had not been for that protective gear, specifically the face uh, shield that the officer was wearing, we probably would have been talking about an officer who was seriously injured last night. We are outside the Orlando Police Department as police do prep for tonight. I can tell you that right now, just in the last couple of minutes, they have blocked off the end of the road with police cars uh, just down this roadway. So we are out here keeping an eye on things and we'll keep you updated throughout the night. In Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results News 6.